Hello, everyone. Hello. Hello. Here's my verbal citation. And then here's my cancer outline. My name is Tyler Brenner. I will be giving y'all an informative speech today for my 1311 class. Let's get started. Who here has been a victim or knows someone who has been a victim to cancer? Today I will be giving you information on cancer and ways to prevent its growth. There are three main ideas about cancer I will discuss. I will start by discussing what cancer is. Then I will talk about how to prevent the growth of cancer. Finally, I will finish up with the different types of cancer treatments. I will begin by telling you about what cancer is. Cancer is a fatal disease that can occur throughout any part of the body. Cancer is known for taking the lives of many loved ones, including my amazing Aunt Jody. Cancer is the abnormal growth of uncontrolled cells in the body that have the capability to form a mass of tissue known as a tumor. In all types of cancer, some of the body's cells begin to divide without stopping and spread into surrounding tissues, doctors say. Cancer can start almost anywhere in the human body, which is made up of trillions of cells. Normally, human cells grow and divide and form new cells in the, when the body needs them. When cells grow old or become damaged, they die, and new cells take their place. Cancer cells are often able to evade the immune system, sometimes fighting off tr whatever treatments patients use. As stated by James DeGregory, one that we have successfully tested in small clinical trials, doctors dump a lot of chemotherapy drugs in an effort to kill every last trace of the threat. At first, it often looks like it works. The tumor shrinks or goes away, but then it comes back and it's resistance to the drug that once killed these, these cells. Cancer is a genetic disease that is. It is caused by changes to genes that control the way our cells function, especially how they grow and divide. Now let's discuss how to prevent the growth of cancer. Although cancer might be hereditary, there are still some slight eating adjustments that can slightly help. Diets and fruit may lower the risk of stomach and lung cancer. Eating veggies containing carotenoids such as carrots, Brussels sprouts, and squash may reduce the, the risk of lung, mouth, pharynx, and larynx cancers. Diets high in non-starchy vegetables such as broccoli, spinach, and beans may help protect against, protect against esophageal cancer. Eating oranges, berries, peas, and other foods high in vitamin C may also protect the body against cancer. The best way to prevent this horrible disease from starting is seeking regular medical attention. Doctors claim many different studies have, linked, have a link between cancer and eating processed meats, such as bacon, hot dogs, pepperoni, salami. Eating about two ounces a day increases your risk of cancer by 20%. When you are barbecuing, burning or charring meats creates carcinogenic substances. If you, do not, if you choose to barbecue, do not overcook the meat, and be sure to properly set it at the correct temperature. Finally, I will inform you on ways cancer is treated. Surgery is one of the many practices of, of removing cancerous cells. Some people with cancer will only have one treatment, but most people have a combination of treatments such as surgery with chemotherapy and or radiation therapy, immunotherapy, targeted therapy, or hormone therapy. Cancer treatments and cancer can cause side effects that can occur and affects the body and organs. In this picture you can see is a cancer patient, a patient who is on bed rest. Um, cancer patients are very worn down. It, it breaks down your immune system. They are very weak and often aren't able to get out of bed. Um, uh, some side effects from treatments may include appetite loss, bleeding and bruising, constipation, diarrhea, fatigue, fertility, fertility <laughs> issues in boys and men and women, flu-like systems, hair loss, infection in the lymph nodes, nausea and vomiting, nerve problems, urinary and bladder problems as well. Doctors set people up on treatment plans by creating a personalized cancer screening and treatment plan that involves identifying the chances of a person developing cancer and selecting screening strategies to lower the risk, matching people with treatments that may be more effective and cause fewer side effects, predicting the reoccurrence, which is the return of cancer, according to James DeGregory. It speculates that maximum tolerated doses 
of anti-cancer drugs may be responsible to cancer reoccurrence. It is unknown which is it is unknown which treatment is 100% curable, but in the past few years, these techniques have helped save the lives of many. As here in this photo, you can see normal cells. Here is a cancerous cell and how it attaches and attacks to normal cells. In conclusion, I just told you about cancer and what it is and what it does to people. I started giving you info about what can cancer actually is. Then I gave you ways that are practiced in order to prevent cancer. Lastly, I gave you info on how the disease is treatable. Cancer has made a huge impact on the world by taking the life of many millions of loved ones and is constantly studied for a cure. In my last photo, you can see an image of a normal cell and how it evolves into a cancerous cell, which can and cannot be cured. And that is